Hey, it's Zana. Welcome back to Solar Trip Podcast. And if you're new here, hi, I'm an independent music artist. I write, record, and produce my own music. And I also film these weekly Solar Trip videos. And we're just talking about spirituality and the mind, like mental and emotional alchemy, um, the occult, metaphysics, all that kind of stuff. So this video, we're kind of going into something a bit different. I've not really talked about this kind of topic before, but I was fully triggered like crazy when I was browsing through YouTube and you know how like um, suggested videos pop up and this one was an interview of a robot and I know that they've done a few interviews before with robots but I never watched them or even bothered to pay attention because I know the agenda behind it and know what they're trying to do so I just didn't even bother but this one was an interview with a guy that always does interviews with music artists so I'm like, why is he interviewing a robot? This does not make sense. And then I realized that the robot actually releases music and has a full blown story, like a full brand in a marketing story about their music and who they are and all of this stuff. And I was just like, completely blew my mind that they're really taking it to this level, you know, to get you emotionally, what's the word, like drawn in and having compassion towards a robot and things like trying to normalize it and make them almost seem human when we know that like I mean we're gonna get into all of this in this video about consciousness and stuff like that but it just completely threw me because I wasn't expecting it to be such like a normal thing to where they're making music you know and as someone that makes music as well I just found it really really odd that he was sitting there doing a half an hour interview with a goddamn robot and then when I clicked on the video because I was so curious I had to click on it and like it was a half an hour video but I only watched the first minute or so and just watching her talk I was like what the fuck is this like what <laughs> it completely blew my mind how realistic it was it literally was like watching the sims it was just so so weird so I wanted to talk about this and AI and all of that stuff because I feel like especially with 2020 and like it's such a shift and almost like a portal going into 2020 you know it's a new decade if you're into numerology and you research um like numerology and its importance in the universe and how it's all made up of numbers then you understand how important this 2020 shift is and I can't remember who said it but I watched a video recently where they said it may have been Q Reeves he said that the shift from um this decade like no not this decade from 1999 into 2000 like the year 1999 into the year 2000 was a bigger shift as going from BC into AD and if you think about BC into AD like that's a huge change and he said that that's the same level of change and intensity of change as going from 1999 into 2000 and I do remember that those years like I do remember that shift even though I was very young but I do remember like realizing that we're now going into the year 2000 but it's just kind of weird so I wanted to talk about it because we're going into 2020 it's a new decade and obviously technology is kind of like rapidly growing or at least we're now being told about it because I definitely feel like they have been doing so much stuff behind the scenes that they don't actually tell you about so they've obviously been working on this for a while but if you think about how fast technology has changed from like the 90s to now that's hardly any time and yet everything has transformed like literally everything so I know that where they're taking us where they want us to go in 2020 and beyond 2020 is just full of technology and when I first thought about this especially when I watched that video with a robot like it kind of freaked me out a little bit because it can feel a bit like oh my god they're really trying to get microchips put in us like they really want to have that much control over us where they can literally like I mean they can do anything to be honest <laughs> like there's not even one thing that I can think of that they could do with that much power and control over us by having us all microchips and having um what's it called virtual reality like having all of these types of things but then as above so below and also like not as above so below that's not even the one I wanted to say what I wanted to say was the um 
polarity so like good and bad right and wrong you know the left and the right um whenever there's something bad that also means that there's something good so really you can perceive it to be a negative thing but i also want to get into how it can actually be positive so that is kind of what this video is about you know so i did write some notes because as always i forget everything that i want to say but first first of all we're going to talk about the technology first because then it can kind of lead i always like to start with the fear-based thing and then we can understand it and once you shed light on the fear-based thing which is literally what emotional alchemy is you have to shed light on that like low vibrational emotion or trauma or feeling or memory or whatever it is that you're dealing with you shed light on it which means to gain awareness which means to see it you know once you come to understand it and see it then you can release it then you can kind of flip your perspective to be able to see it from less fear and from a higher perspective of love and when you do that then even though the situation never actually changed your perception is the only thing that changed it then changes your physical reality as well so i realized that actually i want to start with this with the technology and what they are doing because like it blows my mind and I've been watching quite a lot of videos about it recently because I really want to understand where they're trying to take it, you know, preparation. We need to be prepared for this shit because they are doing it and I also realise that it's inevitable, like it's going to happen and there's not really anything we can do about it. You know, it's just like politics. You can believe that you can vote and make a change but actually they're going to do what they're going to do because do you really think that they're going to let you take any form of power away from them and their agenda like you have to step out of their whole agenda not try and control or change their agenda you know like you can't you can't change what they're gonna do but you can change how you respond to it and how you feel about it and how you like carry yourself and move yourself through your reality and through your experience you know so we can't actually change the technology and the things that they're doing but you can use it to your benefit and your advantage and not buy into the fear-based thing that they're trying to do because literally all they're able to do is mind control like it's all mental it's all to do with the mind and that's why they have so many um like agendas in the media and things because it's all about the mind literally that's how they control you so like yeah they could put microchips in you yeah they could have robots and ai and all of these things that are normalized and that are a huge part of your life but if you notice how it's already a normal part of your life because like i'm literally filming this video on ai right now a camera you know like that's still artificial intelligence i make music on a computer every day that's artificial intelligence we use our phones continuously through our every day that's ai too so like these things become normal anyway and you don't even really notice that they're weird <laughs> for a better word you know weird they are a little bit weird but you don't realize that because it's now normal you know so I don't know, I'm just realising that there's actually no reason to fear it, it's just how you see it. But when I was watching this same video with Q Reeves where he was talking about um, AI and everything, and he said, if you notice the technology companies, there's actually only two, and I never thought about that before, but there literally is only two main companies, and that's Apple and Android, like Google, Microsoft, it's all a part of the same company. But when you think about it, there's literally only those two. And he went even further to say like Android is literally like all about external things. It's all about the robots and things like that. Like even Google Maps, which is about how you can get around the world. It's all about the world and the external. And then Apple is all personal. It's all about like having, having like, <laughs> I can't even speak it's like having um watches on your wrist like tiny little gadgets that you keep on you all of the time you know so you've got these two companies that are infiltrating us both internally or like on our body and then externally of around us you know so they're like literally filling that gap in both areas so literally our whole world is full of technology and is about to be even more full of technology everywhere you go so like it's not something that we can avoid because when you think about it the world like the natural 
cycle of life it goes where it's supposed to and you can't defeat that you know like you can't exit that you can't not when you're in a physical vessel on the plane of earth like that's just how it works so it has to go in these cycles and it goes where it's supposed to so we're in a time now which we all chose to incarnate into where technology is a huge thing and there's a reason why we chose to come here with technology being such a huge thing you know and also i feel like the fact that the collective is in a process of awakening and stuff right now is clearly happening for a reason right now at a time when technology is on the rise because if it wasn't for the internet we wouldn't even be able to connect right now you know if it wasn't for our phones i wouldn't even be able to make music and put it out there right now i wouldn't be able to create the music on software on my computer you know all of this is to do with technology so it does have its benefits even though they can also attempt to use it in a negative way we've still managed to actually awaken because of it you know so it definitely has its purpose and there's a positive reason why it's here and why we chose to incarnate right now but as with everything there is a divide and I'm like I really notice the divide I feel like the more you become aware of yourself and your purpose and why you're here and what you want to do like what you're passionate about and things the more you become aware of that the like it's just so easy to see the different perspectives around you and so easy even with people that you know to notice where their mind is at and how you literally can't change it like there's no point even trying you can just like for me I can feel it I can literally feel where their perception is at and then I think to myself like okay this is what I want to say but I know how they're going to interpret it so let me just not even bother because I know where their perception will go with it and it won't be what I intended so there's just no point me even wasting my time you know like this is a bit like when you have to debate people on their opinions and there's just literally no point so I just realized there's no point even trying to convince people otherwise but you can feel that divide that divide is so clear and I feel like it's only going to get clearer honestly it's only going to get clearer and I notice this even now with some of the new things coming out like you know you can get those headsets that are virtual reality already I can just see and this is just for me like I don't know what's going to happen exactly but this is just what I can feel like this divide of whether and it is a choice whether you choose to see things for what they are like see the technology for the tool that it is and use it to your advantage for what you need to do for the message that you want to spread the change that you want to create like whatever it is that your purpose is and then those that just work sleep work sleep <laughs> I couldn't even think of anything else to add into that I guess work sleep weekend have a little bit of fun but the fun is just human fun and then work sleep you know so like the technology will come into certain people's lives and it will just be an escape that's the word I'm looking for it will be like an escape you know a bit like playing computer games and stuff and there's nothing wrong with that like I'm not judging it there's nothing wrong with that but I'm just saying that we'll be able to see the divide of those that use it to escape and those that use it to create Oh, who said it the other day? It might have been a tweet. Hmm. I don't know who said it. But somebody said, um, there's those that create and there's those that consume. And that makes perfect sense. Like, there'll be those that use the technology because it's already happening now. There are those that go on social media and they just consume. They consume, they consume. They scroll through and just consume everything. Then there's those that go on social media and they create things and then they step away from it. And then they go on and create and then they step away. And others go on and consume. Then they step away. Then they consume. Do you know what I mean? So it's just like a divide of either consuming or creating. And that literally is what this world is literally because there are those that have come here and remember exactly who they are or are taking the steps to remember who they are and they're choosing to create their reality so like you might not be creating art or something physical you might be focused on creating yourself like creating the world that you want creating the life that you want to live you know 
but from a higher perspective, like a love-based perspective, rather than materialistic and all of that stuff. So there will be those that create their reality with intent and know what they want and then there will be those that just consume what they're fed that consume what they're told you know they just believe and buy into everything that they're told and don't really realize their power they don't really realize that they actually could create if they wanted to you know because I think that's another thing it's not that people don't want to they just don't realize that they can because they've literally, I mean, we've all been fed this same thing. We all buy into it, especially in our younger years when we're like raised in certain environments and by certain people and parents and things like that. So, yeah, I think it's a case of we just forgot that we can, <laughs> you know. So the divide is pretty clear. And I also feel like you can see that even in um, like entertainment and the music industry and actors and all that kind of basically Hollywood you can see the divide even there because although people are creating they're not really creating with intent or creating from their heart it's kind of just about money and just about fame and just about clout and like recognition and stuff like that you know so you can kind of see the divide in that sense where it's consuming or creating or they're creating with intent like pure intent or creating with an agenda so although i do agree that technology will be used for negative like we know that this shit always gets used for negative but at the same time there isn't anything to fear because fear is the emotion that they want to trigger fear is exactly what they want you know so yeah we can look at it and be like holy shit what they're trying to do but that is the response that they actually want you know and in order to take back your power and like use it for your benefit because it doesn't have to be a negative thing you know like being able to um release the mundane tasks like what kind of things are technology going to do for us like you know how you can just order anything that you need really easily and stuff like that you know like all of these mundane things are, are going to become more and more convenient and easier because of technology so that's going to free up so much of our time and also it's going to allow so much so many more of us to actually pursue what we want to pursue and pursue our passions because regardless of how hard these people so-called people have to try to cage our minds we also know that the collective is shifting you know we're going into the age of aquarius we are moving into the bronze age is it the Bronze Age? What's after the Bronze Age? Oh yeah, we come out of the Iron Age. I'm like, what was before bronze? We have come out of the Iron Age and we're going into the Bronze Age. So like, the natural shift is awakening. That is where it's naturally going and there's nothing that they can do about it no matter how hard they try. They cannot stop that level of ascension. They cannot stop that process from happening because it's a natural part of the cycle of life. It's what's supposed to happen. You know, it's not something they can change. But what they can do is attempt to slow it down through their manipulation, you know, which is what they did throughout the whole of the Iron Age with religion, with slavery, with wars, with everything that they've done. You know, the list is freaking endless of all the crazy shit that they've done. But now we're aware of it. And that is the key, having the awareness of it, letting the light in so then we can start to change it and we can do better because we now know better. So I don't think it's anything to fear. I think it's just something that we can use and use to our benefit without letting it control us. But I also want to talk about the fact that AI literally is consciousness because everything is consciousness and I was on Instagram the other day and I saw a little clip from Till Swan and she was talking about what actually is AI and we know that every single thing in this world is consciousness so surely that means that even this camera is consciousness like the camera I'm using right now you know the table in front of me is consciousness this chair I'm sitting on is consciousness so if all of it is consciousness then that means like nothing can harm you nothing can go against you because it's all a part of you and that also means that the robots and things whilst i see their agenda and that agenda makes me mad as fuck because i'm like really really especially the way they the story that this robot had was really trying to like appeal to children 
because they were talking about how like if you can't fit in you, like you know when you feel like you can't fit in and all of this stuff and you know that kids are going to be watching this interview because it's an interview where all of these famous music artists are interviewed it just really annoyed me like they're completely trying to appeal to children but then at the same time everything is a part of us it's not separate you know and also like it's just like treating animals and people when you treat them with respect you get respect back so like if we start treating technology like shit if we start being um really disconnected from our hearts when it comes to speaking with ai you know like when you speak to siri or if we did have robot things that like i don't know if they're in our homes and they do certain things for us or whatever i doubt further in the future like if we start treating that like shit then of course it's going to turn on us you know and i know it sounds really far-fetched but it's not actually that far in the future to be honest when you think about the stuff that they're doing the fact that they have the quantum computer like the d-wave quantum computer and stuff that can manipulate reality if you look up the mandela effect so the fact that they're doing all of this stuff already and the fact that they're releasing these robots to the world now, they're showing us them, means that they've been working on so much more stuff that we aren't even aware of yet. So I just think like we need to prepare. We need to prepare our minds for it in the sense of not preparing for um, like war or preparing ourselves for spiritual war and the craziness that they do, but actually stepping into our heart and empowering ourselves. Like now is the time. Now is literally the time where being in your heart center and like moving from love and realizing your power, realizing that you literally are the magician and the scientist, you can create your reality. I feel like now is the time where it's so important to step into that because of where we're headed. And if you don't step into that before we get there, then when we get there, you'll just crumble in the fear, you know, like you'll literally buy into everything that they're saying. And obviously, whatever's meant to happen is going to happen so like I'm not putting pressure on you to do anything any certain way because it's going to be what it needs to be you know so me sitting here talking about it is not going to change what it needs to be but maybe me sitting here talking about it is actually something that gets it to where it needs to be you know like it's all a fucking contradiction so I don't know but I'm just saying that I feel like now is the most important time to really get into our power you know, because it is a spiritual war, it is spiritual warfare, all of the things that they're doing, the way that they're manipulating consciousness and trying to get into your thoughts, trying to do all of the, the things that they can, you know, manipulating the food, the air, everything, they completely try and destroy everything around them because they are very destructive, but at the end of the day they are a part of consciousness too and so are we. And so this whole journey is exactly what it needs to be and there is nothing to fear, nothing to fear at all. You just have to step into your power and honestly, once you remember your power, you realise that nobody else is better than you or more capable than you or more powerful than you or more anything than you. We're all the same, you know, when it comes to consciousness and our true essence, we're all a part of source. So there's nothing to fear, not even what they're doing, because they're not more powerful than you. And that is why they have to go to such extremes to control you, because they know that if they have control of your mind, they have control of you. But that's the only way, you know, that's literally the only way is through your mind. So it really is about taking care of yourself, taking care of your thoughts, taking care of your mind, being kind to yourself, and then literally putting that energy out there, and being kind to everyone and everything that you come across, literally everyone and everything, including animals and including AI. Like being kind to your equipment, you know? Some people are so ungrateful, they just like chuck stuff everywhere, you know? Chuck their phone, they don't care because they can just buy a new one or something. Like it's about taking care of mother nature and of the earth because it is frequency it is consciousness and it has consciousness you know and people I used to feel like that sounded so empty and so wishy-washy and weird but it really isn't when you understand the science of it and how everything vibrates everything moves everything is consciousness it's all connected it's all a part of the fractal code so how we treat every single thing matters and it matters more than I realised and I'm really starting to see it now, especially with this shift. Just how important it is to take care of yourself, but also like the energy that you put out, 
how you treat people, how you carry yourself, how you behave, how you respond to things, all of that matters and it matters more than any agenda that they can do. Because literally they want to control how you respond to things. They want to control how you feel and how you think. They want to control the choices that you make, the choices of what food you eat, the choices of where you want to live, where you want to go, what you want to do, what job you have. You know, they want to control all of those decisions for you. So when you realise that you are in control of those things, you have the power to create your life however you want. And when you do the work to actually be able to do that and to actually, I mean, you're doing it anyway way even if you're in horrible circumstances you're still creating your your life because like that's just how this universe works everything is energy you know so it's about consciously doing it it's about actually taking the power and intention and like focus <laughs> I swear, my mind goes blank when it comes to words. Directing your focus, directing your energy to where you want it to go rather than allowing them to feed you all of this, like consuming all of this information, all of this um, like shit that doesn't matter and then putting your energy into that, directing your energy into that so that you just constantly get fed more and more of the same thing. That your life looks exactly like those same things because that's the only place that you put your attention is on those things. And then you wonder why your world looks exactly like that, you know? So you get to choose where you direct your energy and who you allow into your space and the types of things that you allow to be in your space and the types of things that you choose to consume. And even like literally down to the people that you allow to have a say in your life or have an opinion or even just be near you, you know? Like we literally have control over absolutely every aspect of our lives, even the craziness that they're doing we still have a certain amount of control because yeah okay they have the government system and they have laws and they have all of this but like you still can choose whether you vote or not you can still choose whether you celebrate certain holidays that they tell us to celebrate like if you actually understand where these holidays come from and what they actually are you still have the choice to do the research about every single thing that they do and decide what you want to buy into, what you want to pay attention to, what you want to keep in your awareness and what you don't, you know? Because like there's only so many times you need to watch something negative before you understand that it exists. You don't need to keep re-watching it and keep re-looking at these traumatic things over and over again when you already know that that's what's happening. But it's like, what do you do now? What do you do now that you know it's happening? Rather than just continually getting stuck in that cycle of looking at it, you know? And it like, they want you to look at it because it lowers your vibration. That's the whole point, it's all distraction. So they want us to keep being fed the same things, consumerism, so that our vibration stays stuck in the lowest possible point and position. Because that's where the mind control is really easy to take place, is when you're in such a low vibration that you literally can't even focus on anything else. You can't focus on anything good because you're vibrating so low that you're just like stuck and you feel heavy and you feel sad and depressed and lonely. <laughs> so yeah. I just want to like put this message out there because I also have been struggling lately with being able to like interact with the world like with society with people even people I know and people close to me sometimes when you're really on this path and you're researching stuff so much it can be hard to go from learning something so crazy and mind-blowing and then having to go and interact on like normal human mundane things and talking about normal small talk and like basic conversation it can be really hard to go from one to the other you know and sometimes I have to reground myself and remember like even though we are God consciousness even though we are spiritual beings we are powerful we're still in a human experience and we still have to experience this from the human point of view and like the five senses the physical vessel you know like we're still having to be gods in a human body a human experience so it's okay to still do the normal things still want to go on your phone and look at social media but it's just about awareness it's about being aware of what you're being fed you know it's about being aware of their agenda so that you break that 
bond, you break that attachment and that almost like a spell that they're casting over you. You literally break their agenda once you're aware of it. You know, you, you literally, what's the word, cut the cord of like their power and their attachment and I just, for some reason, just pictured in my head, you know, the um, puppets on a string, like I just pictured a puppet with all of the strings and then people like pulling the, I don't even know what you call that, is it a puppet? where they're like pulling the, the strings and I just like pictured big scissors cutting it and that's literally what you're doing when you realise it so like you're not getting rid of their agenda you're just cutting your um your strings of attachment to it so they can't manipulate you and if we were all to do that then their power completely falls because the only power that they so called have is because they have these imaginary strings of people that they can manipulate and control but they wouldn't be able to do that if none of us bought into the crap that they're feeding us you know so yeah it just is about awareness and we can use this technology to our advantage because that's why we're here so I don't want to fall into that fear and hopefully you don't either where we like feel like where the world is going right now is to some kind of crazy thing it, literally they fed it to us in films that's where the idea came from the idea that we're actually going somewhere where robots take over the world and we're all controlled and we're all like put into little rooms or cages or we're not allowed out of our houses by certain times like all of those ideas have been fed to us through the films literally and why do they do that? Because they want that to be normalised. They want you to be desensitised to that idea so that if they then were to try and do that, you would already be open to it and receptive to it because you've seen it and you already believe that it's possible because you've seen it in the films. And that's why we have to be so careful when we watch films. And that's not saying that you can't watch them. It's saying be aware of what they're trying to tell you. Be aware of the subliminal messages so that you then don't get triggered in fear by what they're telling you and what they're showing you you know so they've already showed us these fear-based possibilities through their films even with things like murder and stuff they desensitize you to it so it makes you then believe that it's possible to then be murdered you know like it's possible that somebody close to you could be murdered it keeps you open to that possibility and then that fear is constantly there like in your body and in the back of your mind without you even realizing that it's there but it is because it's a subconscious thing when you've been engrossed in films and you're watching literally you're being fed symbols and images which is what speaks directly to the subconscious mind so yeah i just think it's about being careful with what you consume and not only that but just having the awareness of what you're consuming and what they're trying to tell you so that you don't buy into it and believe it you know because your belief is literally your magic so yes take your power back and be aware of what you're what you're watching and reading and believing oh it's so crazy but anyway thank you so much for listening and watching and i'm really excited to keep doing these videos i know i did take a break for a minute but i just got really busy i'm trying to get music to be consistent like i want to release consistent music like um consistent singles so i'm just busy 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 but we are going to be back with regular videos once this christmas period is over so you're probably watching this after christmas now or maybe christmas eve i haven't decided which day i'm going to release this yet but yeah so thank you for listening and watching all my links to my music social media are private Zion Nation community and also my phone number if you want to text me we can just chat all of that will be in the description box below and I will see you in the next episode thank you so much for watching bye oh yeah I think you like me yeah I'm icy cooling in that white tea oh yeah I think you like me yeah I'm icy cooling in that white tea oh yeah I think you might I'm the thing you like me my range all white Think he might, I'm the thing he like, pick my range, oh I